test software for the jumper has been uh, updated again, the Bug 3, to allow low battery and out of range warnings to be seen on the display and also to be heard, which is more useful if you're flying FPV. So what I have here is a uh, battery that's below 7.53 volts. So I'm going to use it to demonstrate low battery. Um, so I've got my jumper right. Bugs will only report a higher low, so that, that's an example of the battery alarm going off. It says 6 volts, so it either reads 8.4 or 6. So that's your low battery. Uh, I used a, a Bugs 6 in this example, so you, you get the alarm anyway, but later on I'll show it with the Bugs 3. Now I've got a battery that's charged above uh, 7.6 volts, um, so this should uh, come up as being okay. In other words, not trigger an alarm. That means the the reading of 8.4 is steady, but in this case it's out of range because it's below the 78 I've set. So you've got the first indicator, which is the RSI blinking. So getting back to that screen, and it's got a distinctive tone. I I went into it and I've, I've programmed it so I've got two different tones for whether it's out of range or low battery. So now it's back in range, the warning stopped and we've got the, the battery's okay, so that's not blinking. Now I'm going to the black bugs with its foldable props. So I'm starting off with, to show how it, how it works, and then I'll get into the details of what you need to do to set up later in the video. So I'm binding, binding its bugs. Again, model set up. And I've gone to the transmitter menu and I'm looking at the uh, monitoring, which is tel telemetry monitor on the, on, the, on the jumper itself. So that, that's quickly showing how you get into it. In this case, I've got low battery, so the 6 volt is flickering and I get the tone. And unlike the Bugs 6, uh, there's no sound from the but no sound from the Bugs 3, but you can see the lights flashing, which is no good if you're a long way off. So it's much better to have a tone coming out of your uh, jumper to warn you to uh, come back. So there it is, it's still blinking away with that 6 volt, which means it's below the threshold, which is 7.5 uh, in this case. So the battery is 7.8, so it wouldn't trigger a battery there. Straight away we're getting that uh, very different tone which tells me that uh, the out of range warning has been triggered. I th actually I think that puts that through when you first fire up just to show you it's working. So I'm back at the menu, transmitter menu, configuration again, the monitor, uh, there's the values. This time I'm uh, within range and the battery's okay. So they're both displayed, it's okay if you're flying line of sight, and they're both good values. So the lights are steady, and there's no warnings. Now I'm messing with the range, and we should hear a, a range warning any moment. There it goes. So a little later I'll show you how that's programmed, that different sound. Now it's back in range. Right, I'm loading a different, uh, another file for different bugs, the bug, my red bugs, three. Okay. Oh, okay, how to configure telemetry. So this is how you set your values. Well, you set RSI and voltage, and then you set values for them. So voltage is the second one you set. The one in the first position is RSSI which is alarm 1. And I'm setting it here to, uh, I'm going to set it to 78. Um, you'll find your values by trial and error. I've seen other videos where people range in mid-70s, they can still bring it back, but you might need to change that. And voltage, um, I tend to set it around 7.5. Uh, 
Um, I've noticed that you get down to 7.3 and the bugs will drop gracefully out the sky. So 7.5, 7.6 is probably good. So this is just to show you a little bit of navigation. Um, I'm giving references so you can follow this up. Oh, and this is just showing, of course, that with anything with a jumper, you make changes, you've got to save them. So you do that with a copy too. You'll see the, uh, the model is unsaved. So you then just hit load again after having said copy too. And then when you go back out, you'll see that there's no longer an unsaved because you saved it. Okay, back into telemetry configuration. And we're seeing there's, there's the save values for RSSI and Vault 1. Now I've gone across to um, my PC, which just happens to be running Linux, but the files are the same under any operating system. Two files that really matter is the model file, model.ini. So we're looking at model2.ini, which is the ini file for my red bugs 3, as you can see at the top there. I'm wandering, wandering around a bit here for some reason. Okay, we're looking at the sound.ini file, and that's for all models. It's not model specific. And this is where you set the, uh, the tones you use and the duration of the tones. Um, there's a startup tone, which I've changed slightly to put a couple of extra notes on, but the ones that really matter are the tones for Alarm 1, and for RSSI, and Volt 1. So looking at there, there's the startup volume, two extra notes on the bottom, the standard file's just got uh, three. So alarm one is for RSSI. So I left that with its default values. Alarm, uh, no I didn't, I changed them to make that um, dipping sound. And alarm two, I just left standard, so it's a standard alarm. So that's just quickly showing which file um, you need to make the changes. So I'll have links to uh, Page on the forum to give you more info, but this is just a quick intro if you're intending to go into this area. It's not for everyone, um, but if you want to do it, maybe this will help. It took me a while to get my head around it. So it was raining today, it's the only reason I could be bothered making this, but uh, hopefully it'll be useful if this is an area you want to look at. If not, happy flying. Bye for now.